Okay. Alright. Oh. Oh shit. Okay. Okay guys. I'm uh I'm sorry. I'm just joking. I don't I don't look at women anymore. I look only at myself. I lied. I, I look at both. Either way, uh that's that's not why we are here. Okay, I'm I'm gonna give you my points on, on what I think about uh, breathing techniques in exercises because this is a common area of confusion, especially for amateurs, right? So what does theory say? Well what theory says is when you are when you're in your eccentric phase, okay, so that's basically the phase when you're lowering a weight. Okay, when you're lowering a weight, what they are saying is you have to inhale. Okay, take your breath in when you're lowering the weight and during your concentric phase so so that's basically when you're actually lifting the weight okay when you're doing the lift you're supposed to breathe out okay now i've never done that shit okay so uh it didn't really stop me from making a somewhat decent physique i'd say but but at the same time if you are able to perform it definitely be mindful about it and go ahead use it but you know realistically it wasn't it wasn't that practical for me to be honest okay and uh, I'll, I'll i'll actually give you a few instances where you might not be able to use this these techniques okay so think about a squat right uh when you lower yourself to the ground and when you're coming back up so that's that's your concentric phase right so you're supposed to exhale according to what science suggests but most of the time what we do is we keep that breath inside and we exert it right we exert it but we don't release it so we create this abdominal pressure which actually helps us to execute a greater force output okay and uh, you know outside bodybuilding think about football you're gonna kick a ball right so when you kick the ball do you let your breath out no you keep it in you create that pressure and you use it to create a greater force output okay and you know uh, apart from that if, if you think about powerlifting okay so so that's basically at the end of the spectrum of what you're speaking about here you're, you're going to be lifting an insane volume of weight so you won't it won't be practical for you to actually uh, practice this whole uh, exhaling and inhaling during these different phases okay so th that that's my perspective so when you can do it go for go ahead do it definitely but uh, there might be times when it's a little bit unrealistic okay at the same time you don't have to trust what i say always be skeptical okay find your own information research more and do what you think is the best for you